Welcome back everyone, Criminal Archer here. Time for some more Project Zomboid. We are in the planned gated community south of town. Checking it out, it's early morning. Hopefully we don't die. Took a long time to run down here. So I'd prefer if we don't die quickly. Broken window. Some gated community. Look at all this crime. Gated, or uh, broken windows already. Cold pack. Not much in the loot in this place. Maybe that's what's the broken window. Somebody robbed it already. Man, there's like literally nothing in this house. I think there might literally be nothing in this house. That's weird. I don't think I've ever seen that. Huh. We'll just keep moving down the street. Seems like the most legitimate thing to do. Zombie population is very low. Which is somewhat surprising, but I imagine it won't stay that way. Electricity for beginners, I'll take that book. Let's read this farming magazine. Teach us how to make mildew and flies cure. Put it back away. Advanced electricity is probably not going to come into play. Probably a fairly safe bet that we don't need that. Hey, a frying pan. Um, I like the frying pan better than the than the hammer, actually. So we're gonna take that. Ooh, hello, kitchen knives. It's even better. Let's actually just equip one of those right now. Uh, water bottle, sure. I like water. Okay, okie doke. What's in here? This is the thing. Vitamins. Oops. A belt and a big hiking bag. Hello, big hiking bag. Where have you been all my life? All of this goes in there. Yeah, wait a second while it all transfers over. Since I've never been to this part of the map, I'd actually have no idea where we're going to make a make our stand. Put those away for now. Uh, we can dump one of these water bottles. There we go. Skirt and undies. Man, I keep accidentally closing doors today. Nothing in that. Okay. All right, so let's backtrack a little bit and do the other side of the street. Trying to keep this at least somewhat organized. Oh, there we go. Let's see what's in here first. Nothing. Well, now we get to find out where all the zombies are. Back up to back towards the where we came from. Oh, there's a zombie out in the middle of the field. Or not a zombie, but a dead body. Let's go check him out. Nothing. Okay, done with the noise. Are there seriously no zombies coming? What is with this place? Well, this is going to take a, uh, some of the serious challenge out of things if there's no zombies around. Look at that. No zombies. Now it's possible they just need to spawn in. I have seen that before where they just not they're not in an area when you get there and they kinda have to I guess I'll take this book. Alright, clearly there's a zombie somewhere because I can hear them knocking on the back window. Okay, so there are a few zombies around. Another kitchen knife, huh? Oh. Hello. And beans? Sure, why not? Oh, somebody coming the other way? Yes, hello. Oh, beta blockers. I need to take those. Deal with her first. Also painkillers. I should take those too. Whoops. 
some rounds, which I think I'll probably leave behind. Corn dog. Don't mind if I do. Ice cream, huh? Pepper. Oh, hello. Oh, bad one. A uh, water bottle. Guys will just keep coming at me one at a time. That's fine by me. Alright, let's get out of this house. Stupid locked door. Anything good in here? Foraging for beginners? Sure, why not? For all that foraging we do. Nothing. What is that? Oh, hello. Well, that could have almost gotten us bitten or scratched. It didn't, but getting lackadaisical with my my preparations. Thought we were only just only the one zombie today, but I was wrong. Alright. What else you got? Bathroom? Nope. Closet. Cooking pot, I will take. Garbage bag I will take. And I guess I'll take the butter knife. Hopefully our days of using butter knives are over, but you never know. More kitchen knives, huh? Another frying pan, take another bowl. Another garbage bag. Take all this. Is that full? Oh, it is full. Alright. So I won't take all that. Well, I will take all that. I'll just put it somewhere else. Alright, so where do we want to stay? This is a question that we need to decide because we're carrying too much stuff right now. What house do we want to live in? I guess we'll just take this one here on the corner. It's a little ways into the into the neighborhood, but not too far in. I'm just gonna go in here. Uh, let's see, what do I want? Feel a sneeze coming on. Fighting it back, guys. I'm trying. Go away, sneeze. Oh, I think maybe I won. <laughs> hey, I won. We'll see if it lasts. Alright, so let's take everything from here down to here. Put that away. Put our books away. I don't need those right now. Butter knives. Uh, nails, cooking pots. We should fill the cooking pots actually, so I'm not gonna put those away right now. Yep, all that. Also, I don't need to carry the thread around. Not sure why I've got the thread. Don't need it. Probably will never need it, but you never know. Sometimes. Sometimes it comes in handy. Alright, so let's fill these two cooking pots. Put the pineapple and the cheese. Chardonnay. This in here. Move these guys over here. Alright, let's fill these pots. Planning for the future. And water bottle. And clothes curtains. I hear a weird sound, which I think is supposed to just be. The wind whistling through the eaves or something, but kind of a strange noise. All right, let's get out of here. So now I'm going to try and clear in kind of a a horseshoe pattern around where we are. Somebody broke a thing here. What is? A lot of zombies came through here. At least just one really persistent, persistent one. Right. I think all the zombie noises are mostly coming from the 
ex survivor house that's next door. So I hope that's where they're coming from. Which we'll have to see if we can get into. Oh, I think we missed this. Eh, nothing in it, anyways. Alright, ex survivor house. Let's unbarricade this window here. Why are you not unbarricading? Do I have to get the hammer out? You're gonna make me get the hammer out. There we go. Alright, plank, where are you? I don't want you a mandatory right now. I want you to come out this way. I don't really want to fight you in here. There we go. Come on. Alright, that's you. Who's next? Oh, oh, hello. Oh, that's a broken knife. Next. You know, I've never actually made one of these my home. Might actually be a terrible idea. Since I've gotten kinda gotten to it before most of the things have been destroyed. Alright, next. Oh, broke a one. Broke a knife. There's one more. Oh, there you are. Is that all the ones in here? I don't want to be surprised by anybody. Just the two of you? Alright. I think it's here where there's noise coming from, yep. Oh, come on. Bad swing. Alright. Alright, so yeah. So this place is safe now. Safe-ish, I guess. Piece of tape. Let's check all the bodies. Nothing. Nothing. Somebody asked me a while back why I don't pick up keys. Um, it's mostly because uh, I don't ever think to check. <laughs> the doors <laughs> and for the most part people seem to drop the keys next to their own houses and so um, at that point I already have access to their house for the most part so why do I need the keys yeah we're gonna look we're gonna as disturbing as this place is we're gonna probably live here nice alarm clock uh, where's it Close window. That's what I was looking for. Alright, so what do you got? Nothing really in there. Not much in there. This house is kind of... A lot of canned food, I guess. I'd say this house kind of sucks. As ex-survivor houses go, this one is not, not so great. All right, next house is burned out, it appears. Another ex-survivor house right next to it. There are some cabinets in here that didn't burn up. Chips, garbage bag, don't need the other stuff. That's probably fine. I can't find my way out. I find my way out. There we go. <laughs> All right, so let's go back across the back here, and we'll loot back in the direction of our little house that we found, because that way we can get the general vicinity of where we are to be clear-ish. Also, we could drop these extra kitchen knives. Oh, somebody drank a bunch of bleach and gave up on life. Do you have anything besides bleach, or is it just bleach? 
Just the bleach, huh? I suppose we could take the empty bottles and fill them up with the water. Your way to death is my way to life. Something, something for profound about that. Take all this. Some frozen peas. Peas and thank you. No, I'm not going to apologize for that. I don't care what you say. I'm not apologizing for that joke. Hmm, fresh pork chop. Don't mind if I do. Did I mention we found an alarm clock? I was very happy to find that. I don't know if I said anything out loud about it, though. Because now we know what time it is. If I come across a... Um, a watch, I'll probably swap it out because... I think they weigh less. I guess we're at the point now I can start taking rounds. Alright, next house. I think there's more to this area from... Oh, man. Again. Um, I think there's more to this area than just the the housing. I think there's something, but I don't know that for a fact. It could be wrong. Still seems to be not that many zombies around here, though. I hate this noise. Go away, alarm. There you go. Alright, since the zombie situation doesn't seem to be so bad here, I'm just going to go ahead and loot this place. <laughs> Try and do it speedy-like. I do hear somebody knock- oh, hello baseball bat. Say, I do hear somebody knocking around somewhere. Let's try to do this quickly. Cereal, spray can. This, what else you got? Pasta. I'm gonna fresh. Somebody, people left a lot of uh, food behind. I don't think I need another frying pan. I need to get out of here. Alright, let's get out of here. You guys are slow, but you get here eventually. Hey, lady. Come here. Stop dancing. Who else is here? Anybody? Nope, not really. Okay. Starting to run out of space in my bags, too, so... Should we circle back around to our house? Or our first house, which I guess will be our second house? I don't know. The house we put stuff in earlier. Nothing in here. Sheet and belt. Perfume. Take this. Put that away. Put that away. Another freshly cooked mutton chop. Man, it's just people, just food everywhere. Come on, put it away. So much food. Nothing. Some nails. That bag is really full if it you can't even fit a handful of nails. Alright, so we're done with this house. Which I think clears the area, the immediate vicinity around this house. So let's uh Let's deal with these guys. We just have to. All right, we're we're doing this. All right, Moni McGee, where are you? Hmm, I don't know. Okay, so we made some decent progress today. Checked a bunch of houses. We're, however, going to go back in here. 
and dump stuff off. I still think I'll move to the other house, but not just yet. Um, you know, for reasons. Close the curtain. There you go. We need to both close this curtain. Oh, actually, I have to wait for him to do it. Don't get just walk away and shut this door. All right. So refrigerator. Is this not the house? Oh no, I just put everything in the in the freezer. That's why. It's like, where's all my food? I had a bunch of food. Put that in there. This, this, this. All right, that's all the all the food that needs to get stored properly. Then I'll probably just store a bunch of the other stuff, not that, in the refrigerator, just because it's easier. And now I need to make a lap around the house because I heard uh, I heard a zombie moan. Where are you, zombie? I heard you moaning. You're just making noise? You're not gonna show yourself? Apparently not. Not in here? No. I bet over here. Alright, well, I don't know where that guy went. Some zombies up there. Alright, uh, I'm going to stop here for today, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for joining me.